And these three tests, we're going to look at how they develop further in this second part. We're going deeper into the story. So I'm going to read some of some more of the story today. And I'm also going to show some more images. We're going to have a look at this image in particular, which is from, oh, give me a minute. Which is from Flash Gordon. Uh, why have I chosen this image? Well, I'm looking at Ming here as as the blacksmith figure, and they're both regarding here Flash when he's first landed in Ming's kingdom. And this is his daughter, Aurora, who I'm bringing in relation here to the snake goddess. So that's part of the story here, is how the apprentice sees the relationship, a kind of incestuous relationship between Ming and, sorry, between the Mac blacksmith and his daughter, the snake goddess, that Ming then, that the blacksmith then meets as he transforms, he takes off his human skin and transforms himself into an otter. So we already have, just to recapitulate again, a number of the characters that we've already seen in the story so far. So we have the apprentice who is the kind of central protagonist, the central hero of the story. Uh, we have the blacksmith, we have the, the widow. So he is the son of the widow. Again, as I mentioned yesterday in the, in part one of this, this is a reference to Mani, and this is as a Manichaean story of initiation. So we, this is the apprentice and the blacksmith. These are the two central protagonists. Then we have the uh, characters that we saw yesterday, the otter, uh, which the blacksmith transforms into in the night which is already part of what happens after the apprentice has passed the first three tests. He's starting to have these experiences of the spiritual world of how things are looking in the night as well as in the day. Then we have the snake goddess, which is the next character that the apprentice sees that the blacksmith transformed into the otter then meets in the river is the snake goddess. And before all this happens is the wolf. And I'd just like to encourage us here in to have a sense of how these images and these words and these characters, because names are as much words and carry power as any adjective. So when we depict for ourselves the blacksmith or the otter or the snake goddess or the wolf. Look at those images that you have inside of you when those images are evoked. 